Hello, welcome back. And we are consolidating ourselves in the top half of the Premier League, currently in a Champions League position. Can we stay there? We're about to find out. Welcome to Making Tottenham Hot Spurs again. Welcome to episode number seven of Making Tottenham Hotspurs again. My name's Mark, and on today's episode, we have two games in the Premier League for you. Brighton, Hove Albion, and Southampton are our games for today. Well, as you will see, we are in fourth position. We have 37 points. That's one point clear of Aston Villa, who are in fifth. Uh, Arsenal sixth in uh, with 29 points. And uh, West Ham 7th with 27 points. We are currently 12 points clear of any of the European games. And uh, we are just 5 points adrift of Liverpool, who are currently league leaders. And um, that's uh, w w not taken into account the fact that we have 3 games in hand over Liverpool, Man, uh, Man UFC um, in front of us. And we have... Four games, yes, four games um, in hand over Manchester City, who are currently lying in second place, also on 42 points, but they're on goal difference. The only thing we could probably do with doing is scoring a few more goals and um, punching a hole in the goal difference between us and Liverpool as it currently stands. That is how the league table looks. This is how we have been getting on since you were last with us. Uh, last with us uh, for... Um, I'm trying to think of what what, uh, what episodes we saw. Um, I think it was uh, Liverpool and Burnley in the last episode. Liverpool, a 2-2 draw, um, and Burnley, a 1-0 win. Apologies for that. Um, and uh, since then, we have played two games. Uh, Newcastle, a 1-0 win in the Premier Division of Premier League and a 2-0 uh, Caribou Cup quarter-final a win against uh, West Brom, which brings us to, to, do, to today's games. And um, then we'll be having a cup episode where we'll uh, feature highlights of the first leg of the Liverpool game and then uh, live uh, third round and uh, second leg of the uh, Liverpool Caribou Cup semi-final and uh, a Cheltenham Town uh, third FA Cup third round game and then we'll be coming back for an Arsenal Leeds Premier Division game I think it's Arsenal Leeds or it might be Leeds MUFC actually uh, we'll fathom that out but uh, as you can see we've ended up with Arsenal in the Premier League because the Arsenal game get, get, getting put back because of cup runs and so on and so forth they've ended up back to back uh, down here so that's what's happening in there um all said and done, let's get on with today's episode and uh, our first game, which is against Brighton Hove Albion. And you come back, the team facing Brighton are Castiles in goal, Regillian, Romero, Sewell and Doherty, Dembele, Holzberg, Ali goes out to the left, Lo Celso, um, Lucas Mora and Son up front as the deep line forward. Kane goes to the bench purely because he's not been having a good form of late and we're uh, we're sitting him out. So uh, on the bench, Galina, Dyer, Skip, Kane, Tanganga, Winks, Bergwin, Davis and Cessignon. That is the team that will face Brighton. And as uh, you join us, uh, there's the latest form. Won four of the last five, drawn the other one. Brighton, they've lost three of the last five, only won one in their last five games. Danny Welbeck up front by the looks of it. That's the current status of the table as we've just seen. Brighton down in 19th, only 11 points. And uh, as a home match, I would like to think that we've got a fairly good chance, but uh, never count our chickens before they're uh, hatched, as they say. And uh, Welbeck getting the early highlight and the ball comes back in. It is cleared, but uh, we've not picked it up. 
as we would have hoped. And March has got in and he's beaten the goalkeeper. And they have got a goal in front after just six minutes. And uh, as I said, never count your chickens before they're hatched. And I have to pick this game up. They've caught us. And uh, Regillion not, uh, not getting the right side of his man. Letting March get away with it. And... Um, Right, might need to just do one change here and just. Uh, right, we have got him. I think probably need to actually get a, a bit of marking on him. Danny Welbeck needs a bit of attention as well, I suggest. So, having sorted all that out. Let's see if we can get back in this. Brighton had the better of this uh, early skirmishes. It's certainly bringing the game to us. And we've dropped down to fifth because of it. Not what we want. Lacelso's picked up a yellow card. And actually has a free kick. Lacelso with the ball into Deli Alley, who. Gets us back on it. Oh no, an offside suspicion there. And it is disallowed. As you see, Deli Ali, yeah, he is offside. And uh, obviously, had sneaked a rush on his defender. Right, with 40 odd minutes gone, it might be a bit late in this first half to shout at them but oh, we'll get a shout at them we will Regillian picking up a yellow card as well half time has arrived and uh, we're not really in this game got back into it um, and then Brighton have come back at us and uh, we need to do something in the second half if we're going to uh, restore parity at least Danny Welbeck getting the second half underway for Brighton We've made one change at half-time. We've put two up front now. Dele Ali moving up front. Ryan Sessignon coming on for Lil Kelso, who wasn't having a good game, got a yellow card as well. So uh, we've decided to take him off and uh, try and see if a little bit of extra impetus up front will uh, give us the edge. Uh, ball goes out for a throw. Regillion to Dembele. Back to Regillion. Romero. And... Uh, Looking for Lucas Morris, found him. And uh, he goes on a bit of a run. He's going to try and cross this ball in, but it's gone out for a corner. Nothing doing. Romero cuts that one out. Doherty. Who's on for the suspended Emerson Royal. Lucas Mora. Lucas Mora, and uh, he's fouled. And they could be down to 10 men. It wasn't that harsh. Come on. And he's been sent off. They're down to 10 men on 50 minutes. Nothing coming of that free kick either. Regillion throws it into Cessignon. Deli Alli. Dembele. Cessignon. Cessignon crosses it looking for Lucas Mora. Hodgeberg to Doherty. Doherty. Hodgeberg, Lucas Moran moving around nicely. Son to Deli Ali, who gets the equaliser this time. Referee's nowhere to be seen. And we are 1 1, 58 minutes on the clock. Good build up, moved it around nicely and uh, created the space. Deli Ali found it and uh, sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. And uh, a very sort of tapped effort in the end. Sanchez to Duffy as they try and get out. And Doherty's going to tidy that ball up. Back to Castiles. Who finds Romero. Dembele over the top to Deli Alley, who's got that off the woodwork. 
nice counter attack that time but with 70 minutes near enough on the clock not a lot else doing and uh, we need to try and get back into this game Gillian having a poor game on that uh, left side I think we're going to bring Ben Dovis on for him Steele's not having a good game either and the other question is do we bring Kane on at some point Ben Davis is apprehensive it says As we head down to 18 minutes, I think really we need to be going all out for this one. Let's go to attacking. Really need the win. I am tempted. And our final change, Harry Kane coming on because can't see a lot happening otherwise. And we really need to try and win this game. It's not going to happen, I don't think. And a draw comes of that. And we had great difficulty in clawing ourselves back into the game, let alone trying to win it. It's 24 shots, 10 of which were on target, 2.66 really should have done but uh, our possession today let us down certainly more dominant in the second half there but um, yeah Son having a, a reasonable second half Kelso wasn't up to it today all of the only bright light in the defence and Ben Davis when he came on a well done to him Um, should have taken Matt Docker's Dock T off. Um, wouldn't have been a simple light for light change. So we dropped down to fifth because of that. Still game in hand over the three teams in front of us. In fact, three games in hand. So we can leapfrog all of those. But uh, disappointing to drop two points, I would suggest, from that particular game. Hmm. Let's hope the next game's better. We'll be back for our second game of the episode, a game against Southampton, which we should be winning, really. Same as the Brighton game. And the team that's going to face uh, Southampton in this away game, uh, which is happening on the 28th of December. Castile's in goal. Davis, Dial, Saul, Emerson Royal is back from suspension on the right-hand side of defence. Dembele and Winks in midfield. Son, Lo Celso, Bergwin are, are attacking uh, lineup. Kane uh, continues, or doesn't continue, comes back in uh, up front. Golini, Tanganga, Brian Gill, Ali, Regillian, Sessignon, Lucas Moura, Rodon and White are all on the bench. Teams out on the pitch and... Uh, Warming up. 
and we're underway. Southampton with an early highlight, but Winks has snuck in. Bergwin. Bergwin through to Son, and Son has found the back of the net with just two minutes on the clock. We go into an early lead. A bit different from the game against Brighton, where we struggled early on. Nice through ball to Son. And Son just put it round the goalkeeper. 1-0. Southampton with the throw in toward Prowse. Up to third now. I say we do leapfrog a little bit with these games in hand. If this is a game in hand, I don't know if it is. Davis heading that ball. But not really to any of our players. Winks is in there again to Bergwin. And Winks having early... Having a good game. Kane, he's round the goalkeeper. FM22, wouldn't seen that in uh, FM21, I don't think. Very nice. See that again from behind the goal. Bergwin is tackled, but the ball comes loose to Kane. Kane's just sorts it out. Goes round the goalkeeper and tucks it away. And 2-0. Uh, Inside the first seven minutes. Saul with a free kick to Emerson Royal. Back to Saul. Dyer. Davis. Looking for Dembele, I think, or Son, but didn't find him. Saul cuts that out. Kane. Back to Son. Son to Winks. Kane. Dembele. Davis. Nice ball. Son looking to make it 3 0 inside 16 minutes, but it Goalkeeper saves this time. What for one up against Man U FC? Nothing from the corner this time. Still three games in hand over Manchester City and Liverpool. Just five points behind them. Arsenal one up against Leicester. Right, Teller apparently is finding too much space, so let's just have a look. That's because we need to mark him out of the game a little bit. Lo Celso with a free kick to Son to Emerson Royal, who lost the ball, didn't control it very well. Saul comes all the way back inside to Dyer. To Davis. Davis to Son. Nearly lost the ball. Dyer. Son again. Son to Kane. Keeping it very tight through to Winks. Harry Winks. And uh, didn't manage to get that away early enough. Goalkeeper equal to it. Emerson Royal with a throw into Bergwin, who's tackled. And Southampton come away with the ball, but Winks has picked it up. He's got a, a yellow card. I noticed as well. Son. He's second of the game. And question mark over it. It's going to be checked. And it is still a goal. Stands. 14th goal of the season for Son. Bergwin, lovely ball. And Son just puts it away in the side netting. I think this was the question mark over He's onside. It was the question mark whether he was offside or not. And uh, he was well on. They have a free kick. Well saved by Castiles. That was going in. Ward Prowse with the corner. And it's curled in but cleared. Saul comes out to keep them at bay. I need to... Oh, nice ball, through ball to Shea, Shea Adams. And well blocked. They still have the ball, but it's cleared this time. Saul tidying up. Good bit of defending, and half time arrives. It is looking okay. Ten shots, six on target against their four and three. Second half next. Kane gets us underway for the second half. Uh, they have made one change. Um, we'll have a look at the, what the change was. Uh, Valerie, I think it is, on this side has uh, come on. 
Castile's Sewell, Emerson Royal. And he's been tackled. Not a nice tackle. That's going to be a definite yellow card. Yeah. And my Dnipo. Emerson Royal to Le Kelso. Back to Emerson Royal. Emerson Royal to Sewell. Moving the ball around nicely. Dyer to Davis to Dembele, who's looking for a bit of space. And highlight disappears. Davis to Dembele. Let's give the ball away to Ramu. And uh, Shea Adams. Southampton coming on an attack here. Got Teller in. And uh, moving it around a bit more than they have been. Oh, and a heady goal. Nathan Teller gets one back after 54 minutes. And puts us up on the back foot for the minute. Sewell to Bergwin. Emerson Royal back to Sewell. Le Kelso. Needs to be very careful having got ourselves well in front. Kane giving the ball away. And uh, that long ball. Teller's in again. Maybe we need to do something about him. 4-1 Man UFC uh, up against Watford. Nearly gave that ball away then. Winks to Bergwin. They're all over us. And uh, Perro could be sent off. He is. He's got a second yellow, which is converted to a red. And we need to have a look at uh, Nathan Teller, I think. Not much more we can do with him, really, is it, other than trigger a press. And continue. Son. Back to Dyer, to Sewell, Emerson Royal, Sewell, Winks, Le Kelso, Sewell, moving it around nicely, but not finding a way through at the minute. Winks, Emerson Royal, Bergwins, found Winks, he's gone on a bit of a run, and Winks puts it away, makes it 4-1, 63 on the clock, and... Uh, Harry Winks... Looking to get himself into the side, complaining that he's not having, a, having enough game time. He surely is now. As we go down to 17 minutes, it's time to do some changes. Harry Son's on a hat trick, and I don't think he'll uh, he'll be pleased if I take him off. Dembele. Do we bring... Mm, Deli Alley on for him. I think that's the one change we'll make at the moment. As things move around, Saul, one yellow card away from a suspension. We're well, not going to do that. Southampton really got back into this. Like Kelso way the corner, but I think that was Saul headed over the top there as we go past the 80-minute mark. And uh, Son is really tired now. Um, as is Le Kelso. And I'm going to have to take him off. Brian Gill can come on for him. And Le Kelso. Who can move up into that? Um, Nicholas Saul is tired.
So if we uh, bring Lucas Mora on, on the left side there. Right, we have to do some changes. Son is uh, in the wrong place. So is Lucas Mora. Um, I've just realised. I mean, <laughs> I mean, changed all that tactics-wise. Lucas Mora. Um, Probably swap over with Bergwin. Uh, we'll do that. We change around. And they're getting back in here. Saul manages to get his foot in. Dyer. Dyer now to Saul. Saul to Lucas Mora. Lucas Mora comes forward looking for Kane, but just a little bit too heavy. And that's gone out for a corner. Goalkeeper trying to make the clearance and hit it against his defender. That's come to nothing as we head down into injury time we're going to go cautious and confirm changes and then we'll make a shout with the changes that are made we will drop a bit of praise to the team and full time comes we've won this one four goals to one Quite a comprehensive with that. Harry Winks having a good game, and as you'll see, well in advance of everything there. Uh, oh, nice work, everyone. That was good. And uh, Son. Bergwin having a good game as well. Nicholas Saul. You're really well today. Congratulations. I think that's uh, how we will finish that game. And all finished. And we finish in fourth place, 41 points from 17 games. Three games in hand over the teams in front of us. Liverpool out in the lead on 48 points. Right, we will come back for the next episode. It will be a cup episode because we have uh, highlights from the first leg of the Caribou Cup semi-final, then FA Cup third round and the Caribou Cup semi-final second leg uh, in next episode. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the notification button. Keep you up to date with all future episodes of this new series as they're released. Uh, new episodes of Making Tottenham Hotspurs again are currently released every Monday and Thursday at 4.15pm. And if you want to keep up to date with what's happening on this channel, follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2 Thank you for watching. I hope to see you on the next episode, which will be episode 8. And it's out on Monday. <laughs>